Well, hello everyone. It's me, Daniel with Website Candy, and I'm giving you some more information. I'm throwing at you. I'm going to hit you with a whole lot of different Fuse ways you can use this thing. Adobe Fuse is new. Might as well get in the game while you can and do some good stuff with it. So right here is Mixamo, a website as uh, partnered with Adobe, and it's really awesome. Um, I've never been to this website before. I didn't know anything about this website. I am a Creative Cloud subscriber. So I just came over. I hit sign in. Um, there was a connection between Adobe and Mixamo. Uh, I didn't have to really do anything. I didn't have to confirm any emails. I just came right over here, clicked it hit sign in, sign in with my Adobe Creative Cloud membership, and here I am. I'm able to come over and enjoy this website here. And as you can see, they have some samples right here. And as you guys can see, the websites are going to really start to come alive in regards to uh, creating your own little characters, putting them on your website, creating movies, and all kind of different little things like that, which is really cool. I am a personal trainer as well, so I could use this right here in regards to creating some workouts for people. I can see so many different ranges of what I can do with this software and this animation software that we talked about previously so yesterday you know I created a video I created my friend Thomas by hand right inside the fuse application so I'm gonna go over here today to the Mixamo and I'm gonna browse through some of the created animations that they already have here this guy right here looks pretty cool uh, as I click right inside here it's gonna show me the 3d model in regards to this guy doing this bow and arrow type of uh, motion here and the cool thing is I can control this environment right here on their website so I can really see what's going on here uh, let me go over here to fire girl right here and let me see what's happening with her and as you can see that I can come over here and I can do all kind of different things in regards to you know having her run off the screen there if I decided I wanted to so really 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 cool um, as you can see, you can come over here, different characters, there's different animations, uh, you can mark different favorites, uh, so on and so forth, but hey, I can see where you can kind of create your own little storyline, um, do a voiceover, add it to, um, you know, uh, your photo, your, your YouTube, whatever it is you decide to do. I mean, I, it's totally your choice on what you want to do with this or however you want to use it. So actually, let's go back a few steps here. And what I want to do is I want to get that character that I just had there. So let me go back over here to the start of the website right here. Browse animations. And I want to go back to this character right here. So let's go ahead and go to this guy. And what I want to do is I want to add him to my assets here. It's still showing me. Okay, so we're doing a bow and arrow with this guy here. I'm just going to add him to my assets. Really simple, really easy. And when I come over here to my assets, I've already downloaded one right here as a test. And I can come over here and I can filter through the different animations. And I'm only going to do, uh, for instance, one animation here to make this go a lot smoother and faster in regards to the download and moving it around into Photoshop so that's him starting to run right there actually I want to kind of keep him on the screen there so I'm going to do uh, a different idle standing we're going to do draw the arrow here okay so we're going to draw that arrow and what I'm now that I have that one checked I'm going to go over here to Q download and I'm going to do a collada file right here when I select that collada file, I'm going to keep everything the same with skin, without skin, whatever, whatever. I'm going to hit the Q download there. And as you see, I downloaded one earlier. And right here, you can see where it's processing my collada.dae file. And it's processing. It shouldn't take long. But while we're waiting on that to download there, as you can see right here, the one that I've already downloaded, I was able to just pop it right into Photoshop and as you can see it doing its thing right there so this is really cool I mean you know I can go back into Fuse and kind of dress her up do some different things with her but I'm going to kind of leave it the way it is okay so right here the standing drawing arrow I'm gonna go ahead and download that right there actually let me refresh this page real quick because I can't really get to it so I'm gonna go ahead and download there and as it's downloading there, it'll pop up here in a second. I'm going to go ahead and close this out right here, get this off my screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and create a new blank canvas. Okay, so you can add whatever type of canvas you want to start off with. Okay, 
and our download should be complete and let's go over here to the drawing arrow so we're going to come right here and you can see it right there so we're going to go to 3d new 3d layer from file and i'm going to go inside the start standing arrow here's the different textures right there there's the body and all that stuff but we're just going to just you know import this right here and it's going to bring me to the screen i'm just going to hit ok and actually let's see what we got here it's loading up and here's our character so i'm just going to go down here to create a movie timeline you got two different options a uh, video timeline and a frame animation i'm gonna do the create the video uh timeline there and I'm gonna click that right there and here's my animation I can just hit play there and here's our guy doing that standing drawing that bow and arrow type of motion there the first time you run it uh, you can see it's red right here it's not necessarily gonna uh, move too swiftly but once you replay it after you ran through it one time um, it's going to be a lot smoother so let's go ahead and draw that there we go so as you can see, you know, we have our animations really moving. Uh, we can go in here and we can further manipulate him. We can kind of do all kind of different stuff with him. Let me stop this timeline right here. Bring him back to his origin pose there. And I'm going to move him to the side there. And as you can see, I can drag through there and I can see the different angles. So you can have a lot of fun with this right here. So if you're not a Creative Cloud subscriber, I suggest that, you know, you go in and pay the few dollars per month in reference to using this type of animation. If that's something that you're uh, looking to do, if there's something that you're looking to uh, play around with, uh, create something from it, uh, it's really going to be a great product for you. So let me know how it works out for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Talk to you guys later. Goodbye now.